Alright, so we finally got the announcement trailer for the new Saints Row game coming out. I was actually a uh, I was actually asleep when this happened, so I've only just woken up. I quickly had like uh, did my workouts, had breakfast, and now I'm making my video. I'm gonna react to this trailer live. I wanna see um, what this game looks like. I'm assuming it's gonna be CGI because um, it's it's the first trailer that they're releasing for this thing. I also, when I was going through the um, videos, I there was a, a gameplay one as well, so gonna be watching through that as well. And I just noticed that it's only 25 seconds, so I might do some Canadian lad 0.25x speed stuff here <laughs> just to see the actual gameplay. Um, because 25 seconds is not a lot for pre-alpha gameplay. Um, so let, let's uh, watch the gameplay. Let's see if I can put- Oh, I can put this in 4K. Okay, so it's in 4K. Let me just check. Is it actually doing it? Yes, it is. Okay. Let's get rid of the stats. Oh man, I wish I had like an OLED screen. Okay, desert the area. Possibly... Texas, like New Mexico, maybe. Okay, you got eyes on the bar? Yep. Here he comes. That guy sounds like. And uh, I got the dealer. Daniel Day Kim. Nina, they're heading your name? way. They're here. You should have eyes on the merchandise. I sure do. Was that a gunshot? Yeah. They shot the dealer. Uh, that is so unprofessional. Ooh, those cars look real nice. I, I feel like these Panteros guys are gonna be probably focused on vehicles by the looks of it, maybe? I'm not sure. They've got a bunch of bikes as well. Uh, let, let's see what we're gonna see. Um, let's just continue. There's a lot of Okay, so we've met all four characters. Uh, Can we do this? We can't afford not to. Nina, you good? Yeah, let's do it. Great. Whenever you're ready, Kevin. What do you guys think it's for dinner tonight? How about my world famous chili con carne? Uh, uh, <laughs> oh no. Oh no, I immediately... My excitement just sunk a bit as soon as I saw that helmet. I, I kind of heard this game doesn't end up being aim towards the uh younger audience and when i mean by younger i mean uh younger than 12 <laughs> because i'm getting a slight fortnite vibes just slight that helmet just yeah let's see uh that looked very agents of mayhem -y. like look how clean that suitcase is can i go back frame which one's the frame backwards button I've forgotten the buttons. Okay. Damn it. Let's go this way. Here. That is just like they I feel like they pulled that out of uh, Agents of Mayhem. Look at how futuristic that looks. Holy crap. Oh, the car's also a scorpion. Let me just skip back a bit. Uh so we get the first name of the car. A scorpion. Well, we're at least getting purple, which is nice. Hey guys, what you got in the... Oh, stolen Marshall MDI-101M9 multi-rocket shoulder launchers. That sounds way too futuristic, honestly. I, I feel like if they were trafficking, like, normaler weapons, I don't know, like, it's fine that they're trafficking rocket launchers, but... Th that sounds super futuristic, whatever rocket launcher he just, uh... Described. Nice. My buddies and I have been looking all over town for this. Have you been hoarding? See, we need him for our startup. It's a criminal empire, got it. <laughs> oh. Go, 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 go. I knock it there. Uh, after him. That, that 
was kind of cool doing the bike uh, crash flip thing. A uh, little over the top, but uh, you know what? I, I, I can live with that. How the heck did we get to the rooftop? And why then Okay, so this guy's attitude on the left over there, it, it, I feel like these characters are quite young. Maybe in the early 20s, possibly like 23 or something. <laughs> Dad, you should buckle up. I feel like this guy might be the main leader for the Penteros gang. But we'll see. Kevin. Okay, this guy's name's Kevin. On time! <laughs> oh, that's a very futuristic weapon right there. I don't think a lot of um, fans of Saints are gonna like this, honestly. Um, that they're going in this direction with like the futuristic keyness. They're gonna definitely compare this to Agents of Mayhem like I've done already. During this reaction, hey, asshole! Get the fuck away from my friend. I'm assuming she's supposed to be the placeholder character for what our character would be, because like every other trailer, when they've done Saints Row characters, there's this one character who's like the cover art or trailer character. That's like the default look until you know you create your own character. But I assume she is the leader or whatever they're gonna describe her as for the saints. Are we, are we even the saints anymore? Okay, so we're going to, getting this game uh, 25th February of next year, so 2022. Okay. I, I don't know how to feel about this. Honestly, like, this is, this is obviously a CGI trailer, so you can't complain too much about it until you actually see the game and proper in-game trailers and even just gameplay like if they release like a 20 to 40 minute just gameplay of them just sitting on a couch and playing the game and like no edits or anything this is doing like activities or a mission then then I could probably give a better judgment but from what I've seen it is aiming towards the younger audience with like the helmet but that could be one of those just like kooky uh character um character customization sort of things you can buy from like one of the shops and not something that's going to be a lot of like the, we're not going to see this being a dominant style in the game possibly because like he's wearing normal clothes like the um bandolier and just like he has tattoos and stuff um i'm not sure how i feel about the characters again this is this seems to be a uh, origin story for the the new saints or whatever they're gonna call themselves. I assume they're gonna call them the sa themselves the saints because otherwise, then the saints row name is now an artifact title if they don't call themselves the saints at least. Uh, I I seem to like the characters. Um, they're likable but very young and naive sort of. Um, yeah. Uh. I'm not sure about 
the car chase the car chase was kind of dumb <laughs> I, I i don't mind it it was like they could i feel like there could have been a better more grounded looking car chase because like this is our first impression and they've gone almost balls to the wall kooky in a way I feel like if they looked at some of the earlier Fast and Furious movies and their car chases, maybe they could have done a more grounded look, but I don't know. I, I can't say too much about it other than it. the game is lying. It's going towards a more unrealistic side, but I mean, Saints Row was never really realistic. <laughs> it, it was, I think... I definitely would like the game to be more grounded, hopefully. Um, yeah, so that that's the trailer. I have mixed feelings about it. <laughs> what did everyone else say? Uh, ultimately, Saints Row is the story of a startup company. What does that say that? Uh, oh, here it is. Okay. Mm, that doesn't bode too well. Saints Row usually... Uh, it usually is a story of like a gang, but they make it seem like a business. I mean, to be fair, modern criminal empires are a more of a business, I guess. So, they're not wrong how they described it. They do make it sound too much like Saints Row the Third, where they became more like celebrities and like pop star sort of thing. Um, so they could have used a different way to describe the start of the saints they could have said a start of the uh, ah shit uh they could have described it as like a start of a criminal empire maybe i feel like that would have been better or like a cartel it would be a nice way to describe it like i don't know but i feel like a startup company feels too uh Young generation-y, I guess. Um, so, a lot of people have been complaining that it seems like there's going to be no character customization, but I feel like there's going to be quite a bit. Because that's like a Saints Row game, and I think it's probably somewhere in this description where it says you can uh, customize your character or whatever. Uh, Pre-order. I want to check, check out the pre-order. Uh, okay. Look, oh, it's gotta, ah, oh, damn it. I'm not in an, I'm not a fan of Epic exclusivity, honestly. Like, okay, you can buy it on the PS4. I mean, the, you can buy it on PlayStation, you can buy it on Xbox, um, and you can get it on PC, but it's only Epic. Uh, I don't know, we don't know if this is Epic exclusive permanently, or if it's gonna come to Steam maybe a year later. But I'm not an entire fan of using the Epic Launcher. I'm not, not because like their store sucks or anything. This is like I I do like it having all relegated to one launcher and and instead of like multiple launches. That's why I kind of prefer Steam because a lot more games I are, are on Steam. But I I can ignore this Epic thing. I'll buy it on Epic if I need to. Um, uh, okay, L let's see if I want to buy it. Uh, don't think you can get a physical one. What's the price? There's gonna be an expansion pass? Are we getting proper DLC this time and not like <laughs> what we had with the other games where it was like, not really much. Okay. So if you get the base game, you get... Okay, so this is base game pre-order um so you get the base game and you get the pre-order idols and a key pack if you get criminal customs edition you get also a saints criminal customs pre-order bonus i assume this might be a car maybe not sure what's in that and the what the fuck is this version uh Whatever it is, you get more bonus content, so Lost Pantoras, American Muscle Bundle, an expansion pass, and a steel book and physical items. I would love to buy this version, uh, but let's have a look at this one. Okay, so here that they have different names for the physical and digital editions. 
Uh, so this one is just Saints Row, this is Gold Edition, and this is Platinum Edition, which, um, I would buy, if you own all the Saints Row games, I would just go and buy the Gold Edition, because I already have Saints Row the Third Remastered, so I'm not, I have no reason to pay extra for this edition, so, if you were, in the future, when they show more trailers, and the game actually looks good to you, I would go for Gold Edition because you get all the stuff you need because I already earned this. If you earn this, you just need to buy this one or this one. These two are the most important ones. This one, if you haven't even bothered purchasing, this, purchasing the remastered gameplay. Okay, let's actually go look at the gameplay now. Is where all our dreams come. What resolution this goes up to? 1080p. Okay, let's go back. This is where all our dreams come true. Uh, there wasn't too much gameplay. <laughs> that wasn't a lot. <laughs> that was mostly cutscenes in this reboot gameplay thing. God damn it. Okay. Uh, one thing that got got me more concerned was I was hoping that the d dumb helmet won't be a prominent thing. Uh, I guess it is. Um, unfortunately. So if you're not a fan of the helmet, ah, uh, you kind of screwed there, buddy. Um, okay, let's do some Canadian ladding. Uh, it's now a verb. Um, we're gonna point two five x speed this, and we're gonna go through it. So first things. Uh, we're getting an, like, outskirts view of the city. We got some cacti or cactuses. Don't know which one it is. I'm bad at English. Um, either that says TP. I think that's TP. So this might be just some sort of gas station. Uh, let's see. What else? Is that's an eagle. I think that's a bridge over here. With a... Is that a bridge with, like, a split in the middle? Is this a stunt jump? Oh, this is gonna be a pretty cool stunt jump. Uh... Okay, so this is what our in-game characters look like. These are the characters that we saw from the CGI trailer. They look fairly close to what we saw in the CGI trailer, honestly. So, not, not too bad. Um, so I assume middle, our character, uh, placeholder female character. So this will be... Well, we're going to see mostly through the promotional material and during the, you know, the, the she will be like the default character, I presume, when we like go to create the character. Uh, the cars don't look like they have a great deal of detail. It, it feels like, you guys seen those Unreal Engine games that are being created by indie developers that are um, releasing games using a bunch of packs from the asset store it it kind of i'm getting those vibes kind of from it uh so we're gonna be able to sky lift vehicles kind of like the cargo bob from grand theft auto but with a magnet and not a hook uh it's nice this game seems to be aiming for a more colorful look as well with these turquoise smoke and purple sparks Oh, that's hard to see. That guy's been blown, like, he's blown out from the image. Uh, he's probably whatever would be considered the Red Gang. Um, I don't know the name of him currently. Uh, let's move on. I think that's another enemy type over here, but he looks like he's wearing yellow. Nice headshot to the face with, with the gang that's... Uh, blue and pink, or cyan and pink. Uh, they seem to be, um, possibly a more wild type gang. A bit more crazy. Uh, some driving here. I, uh, I'm not a fan of how the cars look. There's not enough detail. Uh, here's a glimpse of the city, I guess. The city looks alright, I feel. It's super empty, actually. There is no pedestrians at all. Look at all that. 
Um, again, a uh, clip of the. I think this is. I think this is an enemy gang. I, I get the feeling because like. It looks like this guy got his face shot off in the previous cutscene. And we got a female character here. Oh, there's another dude here. Don't know who he is. <laughs> uh, we're gonna have to fight enemies with disco sticks, I believe. And I assume this is some sort of shield against your bullets. I'm... This, this enemy type feels like it's gonna be super annoying using standard pistols. An explosive would probably be the most useful here, unless they can deflect um, rockets as well, which would be super weird. Another cutscene. More shooting. Lots of sparky explosions. Car chase. The destruction model looks fairly good. Uh, nice scratches. Uh, it's got good deformation in the bumper. Uh, glasses are destroyed, standard stuff, yep. Okay, wait, are we on a train here? Is this a train bit? Okay, that looks- this- this, uh, pickup truck looks so cool. It's, it's got like this gigantic blow up on top, and it's got a dude in the back with a turret. Oh, this would be such a cool car to drive. Another shot of Kevin. Uh, I, I feel like Heli Assault might be returning. Uh, a good view of one of the weather types probably, like Dust Storm, so we're getting a bunch of uh, orange fog uh, going in. Um, I can't tell from the color of these guys, but it's probably the same gang that we were fighting against on the train, which was here. Probably the same guys, but it's really hard to see because they're all silhouetted and dark. Uh, more vehicle physics. Looks like it's got some really good suspension um, work. Look at how much it dips in. Possibly a bad guy. Um, one of the boss leaders, maybe. Uh, another clip. It, yeah, these models lack detail, honestly. This is pre-alpha, I guess, so they may, they might make the models more detailed. It's too smooth. Um, enemy gang again, last resort. Either they're called the last resort, or this is the place they hang out in. That's called the last resort. A clip of us, chilling out, I, I think. On the couch. Oh. This one bit has destruction in it. I think this is our character wearing different clothes as well. And a dude gets punched in the face, but and it's a red gang. Okay. So we just uh did that as well. Huh. Honestly. I don't know how to feel. I, I feel rather neutral. I don't think I can- I don't feel overly positive about this because it's hard to tell. I- I think we need more things to look at. Like, uh, character creation, would love to have a glimpse of that. You know, if we have, like, do we- Like, our- uh, Like, in character creation, how much can we customize this time around? Because, like, that gameplay, that 25 seconds of gameplay, could have been used to show your character as different sizes, like, um, fat, skinny, um, curvy, bustier, I guess, I don't know. Is the boob slider returning? We don't know! Um, I, I did check, like, one of the descriptions somewhere, it's supposed to be more extensive, so, who knows what that means. Are we just getting more clothes and getting like Saints Row 2's layer system back? Or are we getting more sliders? Like are we going to be able to customize our character's height or um, or even hair length? Like are the character's hair lengths going to be a thing? Like you pick a bunch of styles and you can pick the length of the hair. And so you have significantly more styles from that hairstyle itself. Um, but yeah, I think all we need is... We just need to see more of the game to be able to actually judge it. 
the CGI trailer doesn't mean much, honestly. It, it's it comes off as uh, cartoony and a bit unrealistic while being kind of grounded in like a gang sort of thing, but it's more like a business businessy sort of situation. Uh, characters are a little bit childish, but I don't know. We'll we'll play the game. We'll get to meet them, and we we'll, might actually like them more. So who knows? Uh. Yeah, so I want I'm gonna probably sit down and wait for like everyone else's reactions and see what they think of. I'm not saying this game's gonna be bad, but I don't think a lot of people are gonna like this, especially the hardcore Saints Row fans that wanted something that was a solid mix between Saints Row Two, Saints Row Two and Three, while being more Saints Row Two, where it's really grounded that your character's a psychopath who just likes killing. And just doing um, dark stuff. But this seems a, a whole lot more lighthearted. I This is this feels like it's being aimed for the younger audience. Um, so I'm just going to end off the episode here. Uh, not the episode. My reaction thing. Um, because I feel like I've repeated myself a bit too many times now. So yeah. I'll see you guys in the next video. Uh, bye bye. I think the girls with their nails done now.